The managers getting ahead right now aren't using AI to replace their job, they're using it to reclaim their time. I bet your day is packed with tasks, questions, updates, and decisions. Well, the tools that I'm sharing in this video are gonna cut down that time without cutting corners. Stay with me. I'm Phil Palin, this is The Modern Boss, where we help modern managers work smarter. Today, I'm showing you four AI tools that actually save you a lot of time. By the way, I'm not here to sell you any software today. These are tools that I have tested, used, and would recommend to anyone leading a team, especially if you've got limited time and a lot of responsibility. We're gonna cover real examples, practical tips, and simple best practices for using AI to run your operation better. No jargon, no hype, just what works. So let's get right into it. If you have used ChatGPT casually, the new projects feature and the Teams plan are definitely gonna change the way that you think about this, especially as a manager. I treat ChatGPT like a second brain. With projects, you can group everything related to a topic, so like onboarding, hiring, uh, weekly updates, and it keeps your notes, prompts, and files all in one place. So let's say you're onboarding three new hires. Instead of rewriting the same steps, you drop your process into the project once, and then reuse it every single time. You can refine it over time and the prompts stay organized. Or let's say you're preparing a new team policy. Upload a draft, ask ChatGPT to write it into plain language or even translate it for non-native speakers on your team. This keeps everything original in context so it doesn't lose accuracy. I love it. Also wanna point out that chats actually can read one another now in a project format in ChatGPT. This is a huge improvement from before. Several times in the past, I'd hit the character limit of a chat, usually right when things were getting useful, and I'd have to start a brand new thread and there was no way to connect the two. You know, that means losing context, losing momentum, wasting time, re-explaining everything now. As long as those chats are housed under one uh, project, the same project, they can access the information from one another. So if you've got a hiring plan in one chat and onboarding materials in another, ChatGPT can reference both and keep them aligned. I also recommend using the Projects Files tab to keep everything organized in one place. Here you can sort PDFs, call transcripts, diagrams, slide decks, really whatever you use to run your business. ChatGPT can reference those files directly, which makes it more useful for real-world tasks like writing policies, summarizing feedback, preparing internal documents, for example. Also, don't skip the instruction section of a project. This is where you tell ChatGPT how to behave inside the project. So for example, I've used it to say, respond in a clear professional tone. Use short bullet points. Assume the reader has no prior context. These are just examples. You can also set preferences like formatting style, spelling conventions, or even language. Once those instructions are in place, every chat under that project will follow them so that you don't have to keep repeating yourself. I also use ChatGPT Teams with the two seat minimum required, which is the entry point to not train the model on your information. That's really important because a free or pro account do train the model on the information that you provide. So anything confidential or sensitive or proprietary should not go into ChatGPT. Even then, on a Teams plan, I'm always really careful about the information that I provide to OpenAI. Proceed with caution is my advice. Let's say you're using ChatGPT projects to stay organized. Here are six ways that managers are already putting them to work. First, communication. Draft internal updates, meeting summaries, or shift reminders. Upload policies and ask ChatGPT to rewrite them in plain language. Great for teams that don't sit at a desk. Training. Drop in onboarding guides or safety checklists, turn them into quizzes, recap emails, or daily tasks. No need to start from scratch every time someone new joins. Support, upload FAQs, refund policies, or customer messages. Then ask ChatGPT to write clear replies that your team can send with confidence. Marketing, store your blog drafts, captions, or sales copy. Use prompts to rewrite content as a flyer, email, or social post without reinventing it every single time. Planning, centralized meeting notes, SOPs, and quarterly goals. Everything's in one place, chats, files, instructions, so you're not bouncing between tools. And hiring, create job posts, draft interview questions, and write offer letters. Prompts can pull from your own files so you're not starting over with every role. Okay, that's ChatGPT, let's move on to the next tool. 
Visuals matter even in operations. I don't use ChatGPT or MidJourney for image creation because they are technically not tools that are commercially safe, meaning you don't have guaranteed rights for the images for business or branded content. What you create might be amazing, but it could infringe on an existing trademark and then you might be in trouble. So I use Adobe Firefly, which makes it really easy to generate images that are safe for commercial use. I'm gonna show you. Let's say you're updating signage for an event, creating a quick announcement for staff or designing a simple social post. You don't wanna get bogged down in copyright concerns or spend hours looking for the right image to license, which then you have to pay for. With Firefly, you can describe what you need and generate custom graphics in seconds. I love this. You can also use this feature in Adobe Express and make any edits that you might want, even resize for posters, flyers, or even mobile formats. This is ideal if you are managing a team and need fast, clean communication that looks good, gets people's attention. Also imagery that you can post online, your website, your social media, and be totally at peace that you have permission and rights to do so. Firefly only trains on Adobe stock and public domain assets. So that's why it's a great tool, one that I use almost every single day. Let's keep going. Video is one of the fastest ways to communicate with your team, but editing takes time. You probably already know that. Descript makes that part easier by letting you edit video like a text document. Let's take a look. So let's say you record a quick team update, training tip, or internal announcement. This example is a training module from a CEO, a client of mine. Descript automatically transcribes your video, so you can cut out sections just by deleting the text. You can also remove filler words, add captions, and even export it in the right size, let's say for mobile, desktop, for social media. Instead of uploading the whole clip, Descript can also cut it down to the core message fast and clean. I love it. So let's say you host a monthly meeting and want to share key takeaways, drop in the recording into Descript, cut out the filler words, and have just the essentials. You don't need editing experience for this, by the way. You just need the message, and Descript helps you deliver that super clearly final tool for this video. One more. If you ever find yourself typing the same sentence more than once, Textplays will save you a ton of time. It is a free Google Chrome extension that lets you create shortcuts called snippets for any piece of text that you use often. So this could be onboarding instructions, common replies, reminders, or even ChatGPT prompts that you want your team to reuse. Here's how it works. You type a shortcut like backslash shift update, something like that, and Textplays instantly expands it into your full message. So in this example, I've saved a snippet of overused terms by ChatGPT that I don't want it to say when writing text. You can customize snippets with placeholders too, like first names, dates, or shift times, so your messages are still personal without the manual typing that goes along with it. Let's say you manage multiple locations. You could create a snippet for each one's safety checklist, weekly goals, login instructions. You get the idea. Share those with your team, and then you've got standardized communication across the board without needing extra software. TextPlace is fast, simple, and built for how managers work, especially if you rely on repeatable messaging to keep things running smoothly. So let's recap. These are the four AI tools every modern manager should be using this year and beyond. ChatGPT with projects in Teams for planning, documentation, and repeatable prompts. Adobe Firefly for fast, safe image creation, also built into Adobe Express. Descript for quick, clean video edits without needing a pro. And text plays for reusing the messages and prompts that you rely on every single day. These tools won't replace you, but they will take some pressure off of you. They save you time, they reduce repetition, and they help you communicate clearly with your team. Which one of these tools are you gonna try first? I would love to know. Or is there an AI tool that you're already using that we should check out? Drop it in the comments, let us know, we read those. Uh, and also, if this video helped you, give it a like. If you're a business owner, team lead, or operations manager looking for ways to run a tighter ship, make sure you hit subscribe. We make these videos and post every single week. This is The Modern Boss. I'm Phil Palin. Thank you for watching. Next, a few videos that we published recently that I think you will enjoy.